最終的に格タスジャックってなったんですけどね、松永さんの代理じゃなくて、あの日米デスマッチを対決、僕もファイヤーデスマッチじゃ、いろんなデスマッチを経験してるんでね、そういう自負は持ってますんでね、まあ、初めて対戦するんですけども、あの試合のテーマに恥じることなくね、素晴らしいもの出したいと思ってますんで、ウィングが一番危険で、最高のインデペンデントだとインデペンデントだっていうのをね見せるために今日は勝ちにいきます。When you're the king of the death match, pain is part of your life. Well, I don't really care about pain. When you're the king of the death match, blood becomes part of your life. Well, I don't really care about blood. When you're the king of the death match. It's all part of life. But Kenny Mora, you ask me if I care, I care about one thing, and that is, I will be damned if I'm going to step on that plane with my wounds sticking to the airplane seats, knowing to myself, the cactus jack, you're not the king anymore. You're not the king anymore. You're not the king anymore. So Kenny Mora, If you want that King of the Death Match title, then you better step up the plate and be ready to kill me! Because you will have to drag me kicking, screaming, bleeding, and dying! Are you ready to make that sacrifice? Because I am. See you in the ring. b y e The world's innovators of hardcore action, FMW. I am John Watsonati with Eric the Anima Geller. Boy, we have animals in the ring.、Uh, boy, what do we have here? Well, today we, we see a man step into the ring whom I have not seen in quite some time, John. It is the one and only Cactus Jack. No stranger to any of you. As we arrived here this morning in the rain, I saw Winnebago. Cactus Jack, clearly, you can see him pointed out in the、uh, camouflage pants with the beard and you know, long hair. You know, I saw a Winnebago parked in the lot and thought it looked familiar. familiar. You, know, you don't see a lot of those Winnebagos here in Japan. Well, that's right. Direct from a mobile home park in Arizona, Cactus Jack is white treasure's answer to a samurai. Kind of resembles Stephen King, doesn't he? That he does. That he does. You know, Cactus Jack, he had a best selling book on the New York Times bestseller list, so he must be、uh, the most literate white trash in the universe. As he's taking it, Kenamura in the pink and gold flame bodysuit. And you'll see lots of flames in FMW rings in a very near future. I am actually sitting next to a flamer. You are the top flaming. You are so hot. I don't, I, I don't know this guy next to me. Check out the barbed wire. Oh no. Oh, he's jamming his head into that barbed wire. Well, Cactus Jack is、uh, sure showing Kanemura what a cactus to the head must feel like. Two sides of the ring are, are draped in barbed wire, John. The other two have broken glass and nails on them. So, no part of this ring or ringside area is safe. Well. He's going to go for a little, he's getting a little extra leverage on the rope, trying to choke his man out right there. He's going to, oh, he's just sort of a rug burn in the eye. That's more of a burn or a stinger, sort of get inside of the opponent's head right there. I don't care how big or strong you are.、Uh, there are no Nautilus machines that work on your eyelids. Ouch. And oh boy. There you go, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, on the floor, there are boxes of broken glass, barbed wire, nails. You can see it right there. Kenamura the Doughboy, per perilously close. And、the fans pay to see a match like this because they want to see somebody go into that bed of pain, just like you go to a car race to see a car crash. Well, in a match like this, the fans want to see somebody get all carved up. Some people come from the hot dogs. They make a good hot dog. I like with the onions and the rice and the mustard. It's good. It's got a good the dough. It's really the bread. Well, what's the Doughboy doing with Cactus Jack? Outside the ring, gotta expect that in FMW action. Well, like we like to point out, the ring is wherever the wrestlers take it. And that table, that is a perfectly legal weapon. That is actually a martial arts weapon registered in the late 1870s. Kanemura wants Cactus Jack to keep that tabletop on his mind. Well, I think he had it on his mind. Pulling away one of the mats. I don't know if he, he's got something cracked up for him here. Well, I think he's going to have a little seating at this table, if you will. Oh, nice little kick to the midsection. 
Hey, hey, look. It's Hito. It's Hito, a longtime buddy of Kenamura. And he's here to hold Cactus Jack down. Cactus Jack is table strap Johnny. Oh, I must say that Cactus Jack has a wonderful fighting style, Eric. But we're not seeing a lot of that right now. But I say we will soon. Well, that's right, John. Cactus Jack has a lethally effective style honed in, in bar brawls across the southwest of the United States. He actually went head-to-head -head with many of, of today's top wrestlers. Yeah, out of the office in Connecticut. Yeah, um, you know, I wonder why he left there. Well, because, uh, you know, the illegal moves, Johnny. Cactus Jack makes no secret of the fact that his repertoire of moves are mostly illegal by yeah. certain standards, but not here. Yeah, up in the Northeast, that was all cartoon fighting. This is real hardcore Cactus Jack's favorite kind of match. Well, this is martial arts-based wrestling, and weapons are a part of martial arts. Oh! Actually, Cactus Jack, he's the kind of wrestler who actually loves pain. I mean, and the more pain you dish out on him, the hungrier and hungrier he gets to dish that pain out. Looks like here comes a little pain into that bed. No, he can't get him over. Can't get him. Oh, -ho, reversal Whoa. of fortune, Johnny. Cactus Jack has planted Kinnamer and a bit of barbed wire. Glass and nails. That hurts. Ouch. Tough break for the ex-circus clown. Indeedy do. And it doesn't look like Cactus Jack is going to let Kinnamer out of his painful predicament early. No, he's going to have to earn his way out of that one. Oh, the hard way. Cactus Jack getting a little chair. Maybe he's going to beat him down in there. You would not be surprised. <laughs> Again, no holds barred, no objects barred. Oh. Oh, I'd hate to uh, invite Cactus Jack over for a slumber party. And have my parents see the mess he made. Oh, look at that. A bed of paint. That's barbed wire, glass, nails. Canterbury is, is leading badly. The fans really applaud him, really... Really getting into this kind of action that you can't see anywhere else in Japan or the U.S. or anywhere. I mean, hardcore that goes beyond the levels of anything you've ever seen before in your life. Of course, you all may know about Kenimura's background. He used to be a circus clown. He used to have the white face. He's got the red face right now. It's all blood. Had to leave the circus, had an allergic reaction to face. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet he's thinking of running, with, running away uh, with the circus again, Eric. Well, there's, there's no way that can happen. As you recall, Kenimura developed an allergic reaction to the paint, uh, which is poor. His skin just gets clogged up. Uh, and I'm told that if he ever donned the white paint, uh, paint again, he could die from it. That is military grade barbed wire there, and in fact, all of it is recycled. All of the stuff is shipped in from Germany in 1989 after the wall came down. We're talking 15,000 square miles of barbed wire. They're never going to run out of this stuff here in FMW. Oh, look at Kenner, just blood pouring out of As Cactus Jack would say, "Have a nice day." Cactus Jack is running Kenimura into barbed wire sunset. Look at those snakeskin pants. That, look at those. I like those that he's wearing there, Johnny. A lot of snakes died for those babies. Kenimura oh. losing a lot of blood. Oh! into that bed again. Oh, no. So now we have Kenimura outside the ring again. I mean, he has one bloody disaster. He, he must be made of magnets today, John, because he seems to be constantly stuck in barbed wire. Constantly. Look at that guy. Can't get out. He's caught in that barbed wire mess. Well, when you sign the dotted line to be in a match like this, you make your own bed, and you have to expect to lie in it. You know, it's a bed of nails, John. Hey, anything goes in FMW. Cactus Jack just slightly waiting up there. Wants to kick him back, beat him back down in that bed. Oh, leg drop. Oh, he can't get out of that. That's just ripping into his skin. You can see the bloody marks all over. And you can, can hear you can hear him scream. He's in so much pain, you can hear him screaming here at ringside. Oh, 
Cactus Jack. I think he's setting him up for something. This Cactus. This Cactus. Oh, smash right there. Yeah, there is a devilish hole concocted by Bang Bang Cactus Jack. Look at him. He's got him stuck up there underneath the rope. Really at the mercy. Fans are so mesmerized by this brutality they're seeing in the ring. Uh, look at Kenimura. Two. No, most. I tell you what. He just, Kenimura just looks like a red-faced devil. I mean, blood is all over the place of this guy. Poor fellow. Look at him. Cactus Jack not only loves feeling pain himself, he loves dishing it out as we could say a pile driver onto a table. He may have him out right now. This could be it for Kenimura. Oh, Cactus Jack. If the kids heard that, they could only think one thing. Look, Kenimura's going a bit lusty. Nothing like a little love on the rocks, my friend. Thank you, Neil Diamond. Right now, uh, Cactus Jack lusting for more blood, for more pain, for more gore. Cactus Jack was going to serve Kenimura a table for lunch and ended up eating it himself. Well, it looks like Ken Murray's discovered an emergency backup of energy, and the fans are really eating this up. They're getting excited about it. Yeah, I hope that Cactus Jack has some ice in that Winnebago. He's going to need it. Wow, he took a couple of good shots. Ken Murray's a little worse for wear, too. I don't think either one of these guys have much left. Somebody's going to have to pull out something a little special. Well, hey, he's bringing up. Oh, I've seen this before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can just imagine, 20, 30 years from now, what are these two going to look like in the old wrestler's home? Oh, God, they're going to look worse than you, John. Worse than you. But, but, hey, that's the price they're willing to pay to give these fans their money's worth. I mean, One. Just, just that, move, that was a nice move. Ken Amira has earned a place among the FMW Immortals. I mean, that was sheer skill, grace, and the sinister love of putting another man through pain. Nice flying move by Ken Amira. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's done with the mobile home media. Oh, he may be now, John. Oh, he may be. White trash all over the world is holding its collective breath. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, in trouble looking up that bigger man. Listen to the fans anticipating what might happen. Oh, oh he's going to the lie gouge. Ken Amura went part of the eyes of Cactus Jack. Nice drop kick there. I tell you what, somebody is perilously close to that outside bed of death outside. Oh, listen to these people. The doorboy, of course, learned some high acrobatics while he was in the circus. Comfortable going off the top rope. Oh, yeah! And it's good night. Oh, listen to Cactus Jack. A little how do you do? Oh. Oh, listen to that. Don't come to me, Cactus Jack. I will not help you. This crowd is really eating this up. This is just a bloody fall. This is gruesome, gruesome action we're seeing on the FMW. Folks are really getting their money's worth now, Johnny. I got to tell you that. Much. Absolutely. <laughs> No wonder why Cactus Jack wants to be here at FMW. I don't know of any place else, any other organization that will go this extreme when it comes to hardcore action. Oh, back to that, that, that. I mean, this is the kind of wrestling, the kind of brawling Cactus Jack really gets into, and this is the only place where he can really, really display his hun hunger and thirst for hardcore brawling. He's getting in here. I think he's getting a little, a little bit more than he bargained for. Oh, both of these guys are exhausted. A little dancing over here. Oh, my. into the crowd. Hello, how do you do? Those aren't the cheap seats either. It's reported those front, front row seats are over a thousand dollars a piece for this. The Cactus Jack, uh, he could use a seat now because he, he's had so many injuries over the years, including uh, bad hips, I mean, from taking all those bumps onto the concrete floor. Oh, plancha. Oh, dangerous plancha. move. Dangerous move for the Doughboy as well. Cactus Jack may want to change his name to Toast. Did you see that, that plancha? I mean, if I were him, I'd run the white flag up the flagpole. Well, that's why you're not an FMW wrestler. You're, you're a weak little wuss, you know. 
Keep on talking, okay? I've been in the ring with those guys, okay? I just yeah. want you to know that I have been there. I've been in that dead of death and death and nails and rusty barbed wire, Johnny. You talk a mean game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? You want a piece of me, John? Hey, you want a piece of me? Look, can you pour out? These guys are giving it their all. Look at the blood, sweat, and tears. This hardcore action you can't see anywhere else in the world. Oh, right, grinding it in the barbed wire. Grinding it in. Right now, the crowd is stunned in the silence. Look at the cameraman trying to get that close up. You love those bloody shots. You love them. Man. Oh, a bed of pain. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's right, Johnny. It's payback. Oh, God. Oh. Uh-oh, Cactus Jack in the second row. Elbow smash. Rubs it in. Rub it in. Two. Oh! Barely got that shoulder out of there. I don't think uh, you need a translator for that. I mean, Cactus Jack showing his frustration. I think he wants this match to be over, not only to win, but I don't know how much more pain even Cactus Jack can stand out of this. An emphasis on violence in this match. Not so much high acrobatics, not so much about the scientific wrestling. And we've seen the doughboy Kenamura put on some excellent displays of acrobatic wizardry, but that's not happening tonight. No. You know, it's no wonder why Cactus Jack, he didn't want to wrestle anymore for the uh, politically correct organization out of Atlanta. There's nothing politically correct about this kind of wrestling. This is no holds barred, no weapons barred action. The way you hardcore can, fans really, really like it. This is FMW, Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling. Oh, if you're not excited, I don't know what you're oh. doing. Nice reversal on the takedown. He's got One, two. Nice scientific move there. Nice counter by the double. It's amazing. A scientific wrestling move. Oh, wait a minute. He may get... Oh, close to it. Hey, Kenamura is really making a comeback right now. I mean, this is seesaw action. Oh, my God. This is exciting. Oh! Kenamura took the worst of that one. Oh. Call in the paramedics. Call in the paramedics. That could be real trouble for Kenamura. Tasting his own blood right now. Boy, barbed wire surrounding the ring. Surrounding the ring. I, I wonder what its inventor, Joseph Glidden, would think now. Oh, DDT. Right into that glass. Oh. One, two. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, oh. Ooh, nice kick out. I have, Cactus Jack almost had a win there. Almost don't count here, my buddy. Not by a long shot. Yeah, this isn't horseshoes. I mean, you got to pin him. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Well, it looks no. like he's picking up a little glass. Yeah. Gonna throw it in there. He's throwing shards of glass into the ring. The, hey, last, he's hey, go the last time we saw this was when Mr. Pogo took on uh, took on uh, Ravishing Rodney. Ravishing Rodney. Oh, oh God. Look at what's happening now to Texas Jack. Ooh. A two by four. To the head. Oh, that can't be. John, it is perfectly legal move. Oh, DDT onto that. Uh... Yeah, this could be trouble. This could be hurt. There's the bell. Oh, my gosh. Cactus Jack takes it home. Kenamura goes home today with nothing but an old fat washed up. What a how do you do both of these men. Bloodied and battered on the ground with your winner, Cactus Jack. You can call him the winner. Yeah, there was only a survivor. Your winner, Cactus Jack, in FMW hardcore style wrestling. Bang Bang. Kanemura, have a nice day.